Steve, welcome to Hornchurch Football Club. So, how does it feel to be named manager? Yeah, it's great. It's really proud. Um, yeah, it's a great football club. And, uh, what I remember from my days when I played non league. Um, and yeah, I just, I just feel like it's going back to kind of where my career started as a player. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a great, it's a great time. I've had a tough eight hours um, out of the game. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just feel happy. I just feel happy. Really, uh, really pleased that, um, that I get an opportunity to lead this football club um, in its hundredth year, and obviously hope we can make it a great. Year. Steph, uh, and and have your uh, the last few days been for yourself with regards to the conversations held with the club, and the, obviously that's led to this decision being made. Um, yeah, it's, it's been great. Look, Al and Al has been, you know, he's been top draw, and uh, we touch base. A little while ago, um, I had some other things going on at the time. Um, so yeah, look, obviously uh, I've been away on holiday. I've come back, and uh, yeah, everything just just feels right. Um, it's where it's where I need to be in my current headspace, and, and where and where um, yeah, as I said to you before, it's right. We're starting my journey as a, as a football player, and uh, um, I feel like uh, I want to be a part of, of this football club. Making its, uh, making its journey up the leagues. And can you just give us a brief flavour of, of your career to this point? Yeah, so I um, I played for uh, Northampton as a as an 18 year old. Uh, I was there for a few years, then I, I got released and went to Bishop Stalford. Um, and I had uh, 18 months in Bishop Stalford. Um, really great memories. Obviously my assistant Anthony was coming with me. I met him when I was there. And obviously we're 20 years down the line now and uh, we're still really good friends and uh, he's coming in to help me here. Um, so yeah, so uh, then I moved on to Stevenage, had three seasons there. Um, yeah, under Mark Stimson, uh, Peter Taylor, uh, Graham Wesley, so uh, three different characters, learned a lot. Um, and then and then I finally got a move into the league and uh, yeah, two successful years at Millwall before moving on to the Premier League in Norwich. Uh, obviously playing for Wales um, along that period as well under Gary Speed, um, which was obviously a great time and obviously a very sad time. Um, and yeah, then then obviously I played for Leeds and went back to Millwall and uh, yeah, just had a, I really enjoyed myself in my, in my career. Obviously I came in late, obviously 26 by the time I went back into league football after going into non-league. Um, and yeah, obviously I then, I then, I then went into coaching with Northampton under 18s and then moved into the Cardiff under 23s um, and then and then uh, through the good work I did with the 23s I got the opportunity to help the first team um, uh, stay in the championship which I managed to do in my first season obviously got the gig full time and um, uh, yeah unfortunately only lasted 10 games and uh, after a big summer rebuild so it was a frustrating one but yeah is what it is and can't worry about it now and uh, um, I've learned a lot, I've learned a lot about myself and um, uh, yeah, as I said, really pleased to be here. And you said yourself as part of that, you know, you started your career in non-league, so what can you see as being the main differences with managing a team at this level to, to your last position in the Championship? I don't think there's, there's, there's obviously loads of uh, natural obviously differences, obviously full-time, part-time and mm -hmm. um, facilities etc and, and what you have access to. Um, but one thing I will say about this football club is that they're, um, they're giving you the opportunity, us every opportunity to get to where we want to be by, by trying to bridge in the gap with those facilities and, and, and with what the access we've got um, as best they can. And as I said, we've got a really good group of players that have been so close for the last two seasons and my job is, like I just spoke to the players then, my job is just to see if we can, we can bridge that gap from not quite making it to making it and uh, yeah, if we can uh, find six points from somewhere um, then obviously we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get to where we want to be next which is uh, in the league above so uh, um, yeah look, loads of differences but obviously loads of similarities in terms of um, working hard and uh, uh, leaving it all out on the pitch and being really honest as a group. And, and just finally then so a big summer ahead, ahead for yourself you know what's your on, on your agenda, what's the key points of your agenda? As, as, as you said at the top as well, we enter our 100th year as a club, so, so what's your your movements on, on that from? We're just making it a fantastic year. Um, mm -hmm. that's, look, we want to we go one step further than we have done. 
um, in the last couple of seasons. Uh, what a great time to do it. Uh, would be uh, 100th year and centenary kit and um, got a fantastic group of players. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, I just, we're here to get promoted. There's nothing else, uh, and we want to do it in the in the right way, which is uh, getting promoted and being champions. So uh, that's our aim. Obviously, there's going to be a massive target on our back, um, which there always is. Um, but with the players we've signed, etc., there's going to be even even bigger target. And uh, yeah, something that the players need to deal with from a pressure point of view. And uh, we need to make sure that we take um, every necessary step along the way to do that. Fantastic. Thanks for your time this evening, Steve.